Just six kilometers of Atlantic coastline separate Recife from one of the best preserved colonial cities in Brazil. It's a must see for any visitors to Recife come 2014 and a helpful tour guide will be sure to show you the sights. Welcome to Olinda, a wonderful city. We're at its highest point, the Alto da Sé. The city was recognized by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site, thanks to its architectural and cultural prowess. Founded by the Portuguese in the 16th century, Olinda was soon at the heart of the region's sugarcane industry. Much of the town was destroyed by the Dutch a century later, only to be rebuilt by the Portuguese once they regained control. Today, much of the architecture dates from the 18th century, and the city boasts as many as 20 Baroque churches and several small chapels. This is the Sé Cathedral, Olinda's main church, the third oldest in Brazil. And in this heat, this is the best drink you can have. A drop of coconut juice will certainly quench the thirst on a tour of Olinda's historical sites, which earned the downtown area UNESCO status in 1982. Today, some 400,000 people live here, in a city that's also famous for its carnival celebrations. And the food's not bad either, so long as you know where to go. For a great culinary experience in Olinda, Oficina de Sabor is a place to go. Opened in 1992 by chef César Santos, Oficina do Sabor is regarded as one of Brazil's leading restaurants. Pernambuco cuisine dominates the menu, and it's the house speciality, Jeremum Hesiado, a local variety of pumpkin filled with prawns or lobster, and mango or passion fruit sauce that continues to prove a hit. This is a dish you should have in Olinda after a long day of fun. There are at least two days between the five World Cup matches that will be played down the coast in Recife, so plenty of time to make the short journey to Olinda to soak up the culture and sample the sights of this hidden treasure. <laughs>